All right, I got that ledger board off. Fairly simple. I don't see any damage. I would love to replace all this T111. Oh, man. You know, this, this don't get hit by water much. Otherwise, that would all be rotted. They've got the flashing on there. So what I'm going to do is put the new one up, starting right. I don't have a straight line to follow on this concrete thing, so I'm going to stop it right here. It's going to be down to here, where I can attach my joist for the upper deck and the ceiling uh, runners there. So, <laughs> yeah, this came off. I got out here right at about 6 o'clock. It's nice and cool right now. But I can feel the humidity already. We gotta get some stuff done. So I'm gonna try to get this ledger board tacked up here. Uh, I'm waiting on some screws and some bolts that are proper for this that arrived from Amazon. I've had to get a lot of things from Amazon. Uh, my local place don't even, you know, they didn't even know what a ledger screw, ledger board screw was. Well, I didn't either, <laughs> but they're just a heavier duty screw that will hold up uh, at least my lifetime. So I'm going to get this 2 by 12 cut. Run up here. I got a few nails to pull. Uh, like I said, all this is going to be covered. I'm going to. All this is going to be covered. I'm going to build another wall over this one step right there that's going to be the door so I don't care what that looks like once I get the wall built then we can decide what am I going to paint it or am I going to put cedar on whatever all right guys time's a ticking let me get some work done all right guys I got the ledger board new one up it's got a bit of a bow to it so once I get the bolts I'm waiting on that'll pull that in I just got four screws in it for now Actually, I didn't even put that one back in, but uh, it's level. And so now you can see what I mean. I can get the floor joists for the deck here, and then the joists, or the joist hangers for the roof here. So that's a good stout board. Now, I had to make it in two pieces. I didn't want to, but I couldn't handle a 16-foot board that was hard enough at 13 and uh actually i didn't even really think about it i cut this uh i don't know what i did but man i've got to cut another one put up here that one should be easy flashing's all still good on that i don't know it's starting to get hot that dude's popping up and i don't like that dude so we're gonna get the little piece put on and man Hopefully I can get the rest of these post holes dug before it gets unbearable. All right. All right, guys. I got the other little piece of ledger board on. Oh, that board has a big old bow in it, but it'll pull out. And when I get these bolts, it'll pull it all out. Hopefully hit, sitting in the sun today helps it. Uh, now you can kind of see what I got in mind. This is going to be the size of the screen room. You can see that edge of that uh, ledger board coincides with this hole that I am fixing to ream out a little more. And uh, I want to get these holes dug this morning while it's cool, although the cool is going away. And then I want to set the post tonight, hopefully. Uh, I'm either going with four or three. <laughs> Them are big, beefy dudes, man. I don't, and you know, that's not going to be a load bearing uh, roof at all, really, because there's going to be a deck right above it. So I may get away with. I got to think of how I'm going to frame this uh, screen and that that's going to, but I could easily get away with three posts. So the less, the better, but I do got 10. So if I got them, I might as well use them, but no more than four. So let me see what I can think of here, but I got to think quick and it's getting warm already. All right. All right. Got that one started, but you know what I was thinking? I turned him, I turned to my left and I looked and I seen him. It's Waldo, and he was sitting there watching me auger out that hole, and I guarantee you I knew what's going through that mind. He's saying, Daddy, 
I want one of those fancy digging machines. You want a fancy digging machine? Yeah, he does. He wants one. He could hide some good treats in those kind of holes. I want my fancy digging machine. See? I know, I know my dog. All right. I got three of them dug. I'm going with three for now. Uh, that's going to work good for how I'm going to frame this screen porch out. Uh, got a little more work to do. This one I've pretty much got wide enough. Uh, this one I do. I'm going to dig some more of that dirt out of there. And that one there. And once I get the post in, I'll be able to line everything up and level it and square it up real good. I'm going to run to town. It's already getting hot. It's about 8.30. I'm going to run to town and get some 2 by 4s uh, untreated. So I got braces for the post when I throw them in tonight. Uh, I don't want to use my good 10-foot treated post or 2 by 4s So I know I'm going to use them anyway. But I want to show you guys. You know, there's a lot of terms for what dogs do. That's called frog dogging. See how he's got his back legs out like a frog? Isn't it, Waldo? Are you frog dogging in the cold mud? Yeah. And then we got this one. What are you doing in there? It's cool in them dog houses. I stuck my head in that one earlier. That's why they get in them, man. They're insulated. They stay cool. Oh, baby girl. All right. I am going to give it a shot to try to clear out whatever's down in here next to this uh, foundation. As I'm running into lumber troubles, uh, what's happening, I ordered the 2x6s uh, in 20 foot pieces. Uh, I'll have to have 12 foot piece for these. So if I can get this part where that concrete was cleaned out and get a hole in there, that's going to save me a lot of money. Uh, I went and picked up 10 2x4s this morning. They are $11.99 each. 2x4x8 untreated. So, and I just placed another order to the place in Oklahoma for my deck boards. Some more 2x6, a lot of treated 2x4s. Uh, that decking, I need 16 foot pieces, $26 a piece, and I needed 24 of them. So, this has gotten very expensive very fast. So I need to dig in right in here, get as close as I can. You hear that? Well, I think I can break that up. And uh, got a lucky break. Look here, guys. Looks like it's clouding up the rain, but the sun is behind the clouds. So it's about three in the afternoon, so I can come out and get some stuff done so let me get on this and see what I can do if we can't get this cleared out able to successfully dig that one out so I could come all the way up against the foundation there was a piece of the old post in there with a bunch of concrete but I got it out just need to go down a little further uh, and I moved this one back and I just got it dug out it takes a little bit it, it gets to a certain point and you hit this really hard clay and it does not want to do it Here's my dilemma. <laughs> I really need four posts because I, I, I keep forgetting about the, it's gonna have this upper deck that's gonna be supported by these posts. And I went and picked up one of them dudes 
and I'm gonna tell you they are extremely heavy so I'll show you how I plan to move those by myself uh, I don't know if I'll get one in tonight if not we'll be ready in the morning uh, just gonna work on I gotta do a new one here just right behind it and that'll be good because that'll give me an extra wide space uh, Wow, it is about 6.30, just came out here, you know, I came out a little bit about 3, but the sun came right back up, so, let me see about getting this one dug now, I love making noise, alright, where'd my auger go? thing does not hardly use gas at all. Man, it's, it's still on what I put in there. Tell you what, I took, I cut the ties off of those posts. They took the bowed ones and put them on the ends and strapped them where they wouldn't show that they were bowed. But I will be sending those dudes back to them. I mean, $70, $74 a post. And I'm not taking junk ones. I think they thought I ordered telephone poles. With your back, not your knees. I don't think I could even pick this up when I was 20. Could roll it with some pipe. Yeah. Let's do it the hard way. I like doing things the hard way. I know some of you are gonna go 
why didn't you ask for help? Well, when you live alone, there's a lot of things you got to figure out for yourself. And some of them ain't easy. And everybody's busy. I understand that. And the reason I don't want a bunch of people here is not because I don't like them. I like to do stuff my own way, at my own pace. I don't think clearly like I used to. So, you know, sometimes I got to look at stuff for a while. Sometimes I got to look at it. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I will not need that whole uh, 14 feet. Well, it's 12 feet above, as you can see. <laughs> That's pretty big. I'm going to brace that dude up. I'm not going to concrete it tonight. Uh, well, actually, you know, I might just leave it like that because that could become part of the railing on the porch. So that's going to be a big deck up there compared to what it was. That's going to be nice. And the deck boards are actually going to go all the way up under here and here. I don't know how I'm going to get a screw in there. We'll figure that out when we get to it. But uh, And then once that deck's up and I'm done with all this, I'll get up there. That way I can sit in a chair sit on my knees whatever i gotta do and fix that stuff i'll get everything painted it's gonna look nice uh, but we got a post in the ground guys a big one i'll bet you that dude weighed i don't even want to know i was going to put it on that two-wheel dolly and then lift up on the board and use the wheels but it's got the concrete there so it wasn't too bad it was just walking it up that was <laughs> thank god that hole was big enough so we're going to get the other ones put in tomorrow and uh, throw some cement in them. And uh, that's the big, big, then I can start doing my, uh, putting my roof and stuff up. And there's actually going to be, I'm, I'm going to get some, I have two by sixes, uh, but for the deck, I'm going to go by, get some two by tens. Uh, it'll give it some more beef. Uh, very expensive. But I'm not going to build it with subpar materials. And, uh, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to rest for a minute, water the garden, and enjoy my Friday evening. Uh, didn't get a lot accomplished today, but got, hey, man, I got that up. And I got that pole, and, and I was able to dig this out. So now I can go right up against this foundation, and that's cool with me. I got happy trails.